Building a good reputation takes a long time, but it can be damaged quickly. Trust is like glue in relationships, whether it's with friends, family, or someone new. In this video, we'll explore nine types of people in relationships and help you understand who to trust by looking at their words and actions. If you want to learn more, make sure you watch this video till the end. Trust and respect are important values in Stoicism as they help us to cultivate good relationships with others and ourselves. Both trust and respect are essential for cooperation, communication, and harmony. Stoicism encourages us to be truthful and consistent in our words and actions. This builds trust with others as they can rely on us to be honest and dependable. It also builds trust with ourselves as we can be confident in our own integrity and character. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, be careful to leave your sons well instructed. Type 1 The Deceitful Deceitful individuals are those who use lies and manipulation to gain an advantage over others. They conceal their true intentions and adopt the opinions of others to create a closer relationship. They create unnecessary drama or distractions to divert attention from their own actions or motives. Deceitful individuals can be found in all aspects of life from politics to entertainment to business. They can cause a lot of harm to themselves and others as they often break trust and damage relationships. It is important to be aware of the signs of deceit and avoid getting entangled in their web of lies. Some stoic tips to deal with deceitful people are don't take their lies personally. They are acting out of ignorance or weakness, not malice. You can't control their behavior, only your own reaction to it. Don't stoop to their level. Don't try to get back at them or expose them as this would only make you more like them and escalate the conflict. Instead, show them kindness and compassion and gently correct them if possible. This way you can maintain your integrity and dignity and maybe even help them improve. Don't let them influence your decisions. Don't base your actions on what they say or do as they may have ulterior motives or hidden agendas. Instead, follow your own reason and conscience and do what is right and good for yourself and others. Prepare to uncover the secrets of the deceitful where illusions become reality. What if I told you their cunning lies? Don't miss the shocking revelations. Type 2. Manipulative Manipulative People are those who use deceptive or coercive tactics to get what they want from others, often at their expense. They do not respect the boundaries of others and try to invade their personal space, time, or resources. They twist the truth, lie or omit important information to make themselves look good, or to justify their actions. They play the victim, blame others or avoid responsibility for their own mistakes or problems. They use flattery, praise or compliments to win others over, or to manipulate their emotions or self-esteem. Stoic tips that might help you deal with manipulative people are know your worth and set a standard for how you expect to be treated allowing you to draw boundaries, assert your needs, and identify situations where you might be undervalued or taken for granted. Build genuine connections with people who respect you and value you for who you are and who support your growth and well-being, rather than those who have ulterior motives or hidden agendas. Stick to your principles and act in accordance with your values and character, rather than compromising your integrity or morality for the sake of pleasing others or avoiding conflict. Explore the intriguing realm of manipulation with a riveting journey through psychological twists and turns that will make you question the essence of trust. Get ready for a captivating experience you won't want to miss. Type 3. The Disloyal Disloyal people betray the trust, commitment, and faithfulness expected within a relationship. Disloyalty can damage trust, undermine the foundation of a relationship, and lead to significant emotional pain for both parties involved. These people treat you differently, ignores you, raises their voice at you, or insults you, does not pay attention to you, or avoids going out with you. These people prioritizes their own needs and desires over yours, does not empathize with you or considers you as a disposable item. Stoic advices on coping with disloyalty are one of the challenges that Stoics face is how to interact with people who are dishonest, rude, or selfish. Do not let the behavior of these people affect your peace of mind or emotional state, but rather remain calm, rational, and objective in the face of external influences or pressures. Use it as an opportunity to learn and grow, rather than as an excuse to give up or give in, and to develop your resistance 
resilience, courage, and perseverance. Betrayal is an art for the disloyal. In the next segment, we unveil the intricacies of their double lives. But if I told you their actions speak louder than words, get ready for a shocking expose. Type 4. The unjust injustice is a pervasive issue that affects individuals and communities worldwide. It encompasses various forms of discrimination, inequality, and oppression rooted in social, economic, and political structures. One way to recognize injustice in others is to pay attention to how other people are treated and make sure that every person is treated with fairness and respect. This includes including people who are different in activities standing up for oneself and others. When we encounter disrespect or unfairness, and showing respect, even when we disagree with someone else's words or behavior. The Stoics believed that living a just life entailed cultivating certain qualities of character and making decisions based on reason and wisdom. The Stoic virtues can provide guidance for individuals seeking to promote justice and equality in their communities. The Stoic virtues include wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control. These virtues can be applied to issues of injustice. By developing our understanding of injustice, issues, we can make more informed decisions and take action that promotes justice and equality. Standing up for what is right and speaking out against injustice requires courage. The stoic virtue of courage can inspire us to take bold actions to fight against social injustice. Stoicism places great importance on justice as a social value. By embracing justice as a virtue, we can act with fairness and promote equal treatment for all members of our community. The stoic virtue of self-control can help us approach injustice issues with a calm and measured perspective. By avoiding extreme emotions and impulses, we can act with greater rationality and objectivity. Witness the unjust, or fairness takes a back seat. Ever wondered how their sense of righteousness is skewed? Stay tuned as we unravel the distorted moral compass that guides their actions. Type 5. The arrogant, arrogant person think that they are superior to others and that their opinions, beliefs, or abilities are the only ones that matter. Arrogant people often act act in rude, disrespectful towards others, and have a hard time admitting their mistakes or learning from feedback. They always want to be in the spotlight. Arrogant people crave attention and recognition, and try to dominate every conversation or situation. They don't care about the interests or feelings of others, and often interrupt, talk over, or ignore them. They never admit it when they're wrong. Arrogant people think that they are always right, and refuse to acknowledge or apologize for their errors or faults. They may also blame others, make excuses, or or change the subject when they are confronted with evidence or criticism. One of the challenges that Stoics face is how to interact with people who are dishonest, rude, or selfish. These Stoic tips that might help you deal with arrogant people are, give people the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes people act arrogantly because they are ignorant, misguided, or in pain. They may not be aware of the harm they are causing, or they may be acting out of fear or insecurity. Instead of judging them harshly, try to understand their situation and motives. As Marcus Aurelius said, I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil, and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own. Can their confidence be a facade for deep-seated insecurities? The next segment promises to unveil the layers beneath their self-assured exteriors. Type 6. The Ungrateful Ungrateful individuals are those who do not appreciate or acknowledge the good things that happen to them, or the kindness that others show them. They often act in selfish, entitled, or disrespectful ways towards others and have a negative outlook on life. Ungrateful individuals are never satisfied with what they have and always crave for something else. They don't value the things they already possess and take them for granted. They also don't express gratitude for the gifts or favors they receive and may even complain or criticize them. Ungrateful individuals don't take responsibility for their own actions or outcomes and blame others for their problems or failures. They don't acknowledge their own mistakes or shortcomings and refuse to learn from feedback or criticism. They also don't appreciate the opportunities or challenges that come their way and see them as obstacles or burdens. One of the best ways to combat ungratefulness is to practice gratitude. By practicing gratitude, we can improve our mood, well-being, and relationships. We can also develop a positive outlook on life and find joy and meaning in the present moment. To practice gratitude, you can keep a gratitude gratitude journal, write thank you notes, express gratitude verbally, or meditate on the things you are grateful for. Join us till end we explore the psychology behind their lack of appreciation. Could there be hidden reasons behind their inability to acknowledge kindness? Type 7. 
The envious envy is a natural human emotion that occurs when you feel resentful towards someone who has what you desire, whether it's success, wealth, or admiration from others. Envy can have negative effects on your well-being and relationships, such as anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and social isolation. Some of the characteristics that you might notice in an envious person may include behaviors like refusing to celebrate another person's success, finding themselves unhappy when others around them have success, finding joy when other people experience setbacks or failure, constantly downplaying or diminishing the success of others. Stoicism can help you deal with envy by offering practical techniques, such as Shifting your focus to personal growth instead of comparing yourself to others. Focus on improving yourself and achieving your own goals based on your values and abilities. Reframing your thoughts about the person you're envious of instead of viewing them as a threat or a source of comparison. Try to see them as a role model or a source of inspiration to learn from them and emulate their virtues. Green with envy. The envious are about to take center stage. Discover the motivations behind their covetous gazes. Find out in the upcoming reveal. Type 8. The cruel, cruel individuals intentionally harm or inflict pain on others, either for their own pleasure or to achieve some goal. Cruelty can take many forms, such as physical violence, emotional abuse, verbal insults, or psychological manipulation. Cruel people have lack of empathy. They do not feel or care about the suffering of others and may even enjoy it. They do not regret or feel guilty for their actions and may rationalize or justify them. They do not have a sense of right and wrong and do not follow moral or social norms. They are skilled at deceiving, lying, and exploiting others for their own benefit and may use charm, flattery, or persuasion to influence them. Stoicism can help us face cruelty by offering practical techniques, such as by practicing self-control. We can choose how to respond to cruelty and not let our emotions get the better of us. We can avoid reacting impulsively or violently and instead act rationally and calmly. By practicing forgiveness, we can free ourselves from the resentment and bitterness that cruelty can cause and instead cultivate compassion and understanding can acknowledge the humanity and fallibility of the other person and wish them well. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Prepare for a chilling exploration of the cruel. What drives their heartless actions? Uncover the dark recesses of their minds and confront the harsh realities that fuel their cruelty. Type 9. The dishonest dishonesty affect our personal and professional relationships. It can be hard to detect, especially if the person is good at lying or hiding their true intentions. Dishonest people often change or forget details in their stories because they have to remember the lie and all its intricacies each time they tell it. Dishonest people tend to forget certain conversations or events that could expose their lies or make them look bad. This is a way of avoiding accountability or responsibility for their actions. Their body language doesn't match their words. Dishonest people may show physical signs of discomfort or nervousness when they lie, such as scratching their nose or ears, avoiding eye contact, or fidgeting excessively. These signs may contradict what they are saying verbally. Stoics believe that we can only control our own thoughts and actions, and not the external events or other people's behavior. Stoics remind us that dishonest people are not doing it on purpose to harm us, but rather because they are ignorant or misguided. They are acting according to their own nature, which we cannot change. We should not let their actions affect our peace of mind or self-worth. Stoics warn us against seeking revenge or retaliation against dishonest people, as this would only make us more like them and worsen the situation. Instead, they recommend showing kindness and compassion and gently pointing out where they went wrong, if possible. This way, we can maintain our integrity and dignity and maybe even help them improve. Want more secrets like these? Then, don't stop here. Subscribe to our channel, activate notifications, leave a like, and share this video. And remember, each step you take with us is a step to stay away these types of people. Stay tuned for our next video. Don't miss out on this.